won award this year for my gold award for mascarpone. Last year for a gold award for ricotta. So every year we won uh, award yeah. for best cheeses. Well, he came to Australia in 1956. Cheese come from family of cheese makers from his mother's side. He was 16 years old when he started to make cheeses. But because here in Australia, nobody knew about ricotta or mozzarella, nothing about it, nothing. And the only cheese at the time was basically the pale yellow block, you know, cheddar cheese. And so what he started doing was he set himself up on the banks of the Hawkesbury River out at Windsor and started making ricotta using an old copper pot, using wood fire to heat the milk. Then it got to a stage where he was obviously caught out by the authorities and they have said to him, look, Umberto, unfortunately, you can't do what you're doing. So instead of giving you fines, we'll let you set up your business and start making it properly, in which he did. I mean, he really persevered. It was early starts, really late finishes. And then after a little bit of time, they start to learn how to eat the, the cheeses. And now the business, uh, the cheese, mozzarella, bocconcini, mascarpone, is one big thing in Australia and it was a very, very tragic for us. Um, he actually died doing what he loved, just making cheese. My husband introduced to Australia, ricotta, mozzarella, bocconcini, mascarpone, and other cheeses. And he was making mascarpone back in 1960, 62. I mean, nobody knew mascarpone back then. The way he used to make it, 40 years ago, we still make the same way. We still make the same way. And, and I guess what's happened over the years is because people have become so, such aware of our, of our name, we've been known as a very high quality product. We sell out of, uh, on the premises and we sell to all supermarkets, uh, restaurants, uh, delicatessen. We're getting a lot of inquiries on the international circuit. A lot of um, Asian, Middle Eastern countries have been seeking our product. We're trying to develop ways of getting it there because it's a short shelf life product and we want to try and send over the freshest product possible because all our products are made fresh and we don't add any preservatives or anything like that. Australia is a, is a be uh, beautiful country and give you a chance to do anything you want. My father once said that Australia was the land of milk and honey and I think it sums it up. It was such a country that gave such great opportunity for him. He's used that opportunity to create what he has created today.